Hey gang, Tim here at Core Electronics and I have been a busy bee. For you today, we have two 3D printable cases for Pico. A prototyping case, which can be used in tandem with our Pico Dev ecosystem and Pico Armor. So these cases are for those who have just got their hands on the shiny new Raspberry Pi Pico and want a 3D printed case for it. Links to the files are in the description below. So let's start off with this prototyping case. Clean lines and beautiful utilitarianism was the design memo that I followed for this. Inside, you can mount a Pico, a Pico Dev expansion board, multiple Pico Dev modules from temperature sensing, air pressure to light sensing, and all of them in between, and it even works in conjunction with Pico Dev prototyping boards. This case also provides room at the base for a LiPo battery, which connects directly to the expansion board JST connector, so you can have Pico on the go. What you choose is up to you. The choice is there. There are variations to this case as well, allowing you to easily wall mount the system, if so desired, and giving access to the Pico onboard micro USB even when the case is attached on top via a suspiciously looking Raspberry Pi hole. This design will require M2.5 screws to fit all components securely together. They can be screwed directly into the holes and will last multiple installations. This design will work best with the Pico Dev Pico expansion board and a Raspberry Pi Pico, which has the headers soldered onto it. Quick note, when wall mounting, you will need to use 40 millimeter M2.5 screws for the top half which will often require a trip to the hardware shop to source. The reason for this is when you wall mount it, you're gonna put screws in here, in here, and then you're gonna put this on top. And because it's attached to the wall, you're gonna need to screw all the way through here. Whereas a normal installation, you would only need to screw down into these. So when 3D printing components like these, orientate them like so in Cura. I have been using 0.1 millimeter layer height with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. The materials I have printed so far have been Ultimaker Blue ABS, Red Tough PLA, and CPE Plus for these components. For all of these materials, I used 40% infill and a six wall line count to keep the strength high. No supports are needed for the top part, even with the Raspberry Pi shaped hole. The installing process is simple, just decide on the Pico Dev modules you want. Then place all the components together using M2.5 screws and standoffs and connect all the electronics and then close the case. And if you printed the wall mounted option like I have here, you can use M5 button head screws to install it wherever you'd like. Very hot off the printing presses, there is a new variant to the Pico prototyping case, which will allow you to wall mount it even easier than before. Just line up the right side with the screws and then twist it down into place. And here it is, all properly attached and mounted. Nice and sturdy. Up next is the Pico Armor. This case perfectly fits the Raspberry Pi Pico and is a two-piece press fit component with no fasteners required if printing with filament. You can connect it to all the GPIO pins via Molex connectors and still have access to the micro USB really, really easily. Now, you would be excused to think that there was not much else going on, but hidden feature alert, if you squeeze the two parts together, you can press and hold the boot cell button. More flexible materials like PLA and CPE give the best results to enable this feature. However, I've also printed this case out of ABS and even out of resin by DLP printers. Jumping into Cura, this is the orientation I used to 3D print these components. Using the exact same base settings as before, except for Pico Armor, I used 100% infill. Same as before, no supports needed. If your printer is not dialed in perfect, you may need to shave just a little bit off from the standoffs so everything fits just right. Otherwise, smooth sailing. If you wanna make these from resin, here is the orientation I used in TutorBox for these models. Now, this is particularly important for resin prints as the properties of the resin means it does not flex as much, meaning it won't squish and create that press fit. So to deal with that, just dab a little bit of glue around the edges and that will keep your Pico safe for a long, long time. Otherwise, you could also combine resin prints and filament prints together and it will work as a press fit, no problem. I've done this just here. Good design goes to heaven and bad design goes everywhere. So give me help 
by giving your input about your experiences with these cases. Also, if you don't have a 3D printer, we have a 3D printing service that you can use to get these designs and anything else you want to be 3D printed sent directly to you. I hope this comes in handy for you. And with that, until next time, stay cozy.